welcome back we will solve example 2 again but we will add the allowance for wear as well so remember that we had a shaft of diameter dimension 1.875 plus minus 0.015 and we have to design the snap gauges to check uh, this diameter so the tolerance of the gauges is 10% of workpiece tolerance that is 10% of 0.003 two into 0.0015 is 0.003 multiplied by 10% results in 0.003 inch allowance for wear is 5% of workpiece tolerance that is 5% of 0.003 so that is 0.0015 inch and as we have discussed repeatedly that the go gauge checks the mmc of the feature and here we are having and the diameter of a shaft so mmc will be the upper limit so the basic size of go snap will be equal to upper limit of the uh, shaft diameter so that will be equal to 1.875 plus 0.015 so that is 1.8765 so that would have been the basic size of the go snap gauge if we were not considering the wear allowance so as we saw in example 2 but applying wear allowance will decrease the basic size in this case because we have to keep uh, the size of the gauge uh, the tolerance zone of the gauge actually within the workpiece tolerance zone so in the case of a go snap we will be subtracting the wear allowance we were actually adding wear allowance to the size of go plug but here we will be subtracting in the case of go snap so that will result in 1.8765 minus 0.0015 so the new basic size of the go snap is 1.87635 inches so it will be dimensioned as 1.87635 plus 0 minus 0.003 because we apply the tolerance in minus direction in the case of go snap so 1.87635 plus 0 minus um, the tolerance of 0.003 the size of the go snap will remain the same it will be equal to the lmc or the lower limit of the diameter of the shaft so it will be 1.875 minus 0.0015 or 1.8735 and the tolerance will be applied in the plus direction so the size of the no go snap will be 1.8735 plus 0.003 minus 0 and here you could see uh, the double ended snap gauge so everything is the same except for this basic size of the go gauge so it is 1.87635 instead of 1.8765 in the rest of the values including the size of the no go and its tolerances as well as tolerances for the go are the same as they were in example 2 so in order to have a graphical analysis so the lower limit in the case of external feature is equal to the lmc so that is actually the basic size of the no go gauge so that is 1.8735 so that is basically uh, the no go gauge so that is the basic size of the no go gauge and the upper limit of the no go gauge will be 1.8735 plus a point triple zero three so that will be equal to 1.8738 so that is the upper limit and this was the lower limit as well as the basic size of the no go snap gauge so this as a whole as indicated is the tolerance zone of the no go gauge and the upper limit is the mmc of the diameter of the shaft so that is 1.8765 and that would have been actually the basic size of the go snap gauge if we were not considering the wear allowance 
but adding the uh, sorry in this case subtracting the wear allowance will make the basic size equal to 1.87635 so 1.8765 minus 0 0.0015 is 1.87635 so we are subtracting this wear allowance and that is equal to 0 0.0015 so that is the um, size of the go gauge so that is the uh, upper limit as well as the basic size and the lower limit will be equal to 1.87635 minus 0 0.003 so this will uh, turn out to be 1.87605 so that is the lower limit and this was the upper limit as well as the basic size so you could you could see here that applying the wear wear allowance as we saw in the case of a, a plug gauge has actually reduced uh, the size of this zone so this is where uh, the good pieces will always be accepted and these two regions and this region as well as this region are creating the probability of rejecting a good piece and actually this wear allowance has increased at that region where we could reject a good work piece. So this region, this much, that is the work piece tolerance zone has further reduced uh, by 5% of the work piece tolerance. So we could say that by applying 10% 10, 10 uh, tolerance rule, we were reducing the workpiece tolerance zone by 20% and by applying 5% wear allowance, we are reducing that tolerance zone by 25%. I hope that is clear. Thank you.